I felt like I was still in really good form. I was, I was uh, still in the origin side at the time. I was, I was playing for New South Wales, vice captain. Came, came back, found myself kind of on the, on the bench for the Tigers and then not playing. I stood down from the captaincy of my own accord because I thought, you know, what if you've got a problem with my leadership? That's fine, give it to someone else. Like, I don't want the headache. At the time, you kind of painted out as this monster and at the whole time I'm sitting back on, what have I done? You know, I just didn't understand it. And, you know, I never wanted to leave the Tigers and the way things panned out, I left. Everyone looks at that moment like it's a, um, like it's a lonely moment, but it's not. That, that was probably one of the most special moments of my, of my, my life. Big Baz is a scoreboard attendant at, um, at Leichhardt. He's been there for oh, God knows how long, you know. And um, so I was signing autographs and he come down to say goodbye to me and he tapped me on the shoulder and said, mate, have a look at the scoreboard. And so up on the scoreboard, as you can see, he'd left a message. He said, 247, which is the amount of games I've played, yeah. you'll never walk alone, which is um, Liverpool song, which I've got tattooed on me. And I said, oh, that's pretty cool. So I was actually standing down on the grass and the security guy was taking a photo of me just in front. But then someone says, oh, the stairs are open if you want to go up there. So I actually, I went up there, sat on the ledge and the security guy still got a photo of me. I can't remember who it was, but someone threw me a, a beer. And I was like, all right. So I just sat there and I started drinking the beer and the sun was kind of setting. The sun sets over the other side behind the main grandstand. The sun was setting and it was just this, it was just a beautiful afternoon and I, I just sat there and I just kind of reflected on my last 15 years. I ended up drinking about 10 beers, I think. <laughs> As you see them lined up, there was, there was a few of those beers and ciders and whatever, and I just sat up there and it was just a beautiful moment, you know. It was a, it was a ground I loved so much. Everyone knows how much I love Leichhardt Oval, and, but just to sit there and kind of reflect. I, I had that chip on my shoulder. I would have had the chip on my shoulder for the rest of my life, to be honest, if, if I never got that chance to go back. But, you know, for me to, get the opportunity to go back to the club and finish my career the way I did. Yeah, it was a crazy week, you know, I broke my leg uh, four weeks earlier, I was distraught, went in for the scan. I still remember breaking down in tears when I got the scan because they said there's a pretty big fracture in your knee. You know, you're gonna be out for 12 weeks and there was four weeks left in the season and I just, I just knew I'd played my last game. I'm pretty stubborn and I just said I'll do it like at the end of the day I'll like if, if I'm not going to play again I'm just going to make sure it's no th through no fault of my own I'm just going to do everything I can to give myself every chance possible and train with the team and then but then the coach made the decision said mate it's too much of a risk look if we win we're going to be in the semis next week look, you'll have another week's training under your belt like I'll risk you next week but like not this week so I was pretty shattered that it was at Leichhardt and I knew I thought there might not be a next week you know if we lose there's not going to be a next week so and then my brother flew down from from Brizzy he lives in Brizzy, Brizzy and uh, so he flew down and night before the game sat at home had a couple of glasses of scotch with my brother and um, I stayed up watching the Ashes the cricket was on at the time so I was watching the Ashes till about three in the morning and uh, I didn't think, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go to the game tomorrow, just enjoy the day regardless. So I went down, I was just soaking up the atmosphere of the day, you know, it was um, obviously a sold out crowd and everyone was wishing me well and, and things like that. And then I was out there helping the boys warm up. One of the assistant coaches just said, mate, I think Tubbsy's hurt himself. And I thought he was joking. I, I, thought, I thought he was actually joking with me. He said, no, he said, mate, you better get inside. So I ran inside, I had my boot, because Madge told me to bring my boots just in case. I had my boots in the corner of the, um, of the dressing room. He said, mate, get dressed, I said, mate, you're in. Coach started me on the bench, and I didn't get on till the like 55th or 60th minute. The game was like, we losing 22 to four at the time I got on. So the game was gone by the time I already got on the field. So look, if there was one regret, I think, is that I probably never got on earlier so that I could have influenced the game a bit more. I never ever, like, I don't think anyone thought I'd end up back at the Tigers after what happened. And the way, the way things worked out that I, I went back there and I felt like I was playing good footy again. And I thought, you know what, it's the right time to, the right time to finish up. Yeah.